The next question is, find the set of values of k for which the line y equals to kx minus 4 intersects the curve y equals to x squared minus 2x at two distinct points. So the condition applies here is, there are two distinct points of intersection between the line and the curve. Therefore, similar to that of the previous question, we need to apply the discriminant term such that the discriminant term b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0. It should be positive in order to get this condition. And then the next step is to get a, b, c coefficients. How to get the a, b, c coefficients? We need to produce the quadratic equation by combining the two equations. We know that at the intersection points, the y-coordinate for the line is the same as the y-coordinate for the curve. Therefore, you can say that kx minus 4 is the same as x squared minus 2x. Then we arrange this to get the final quadratic equation. We can send these two terms to the right side, it becomes negative kx, then plus 4 equals to 0. Or you can say x squared minus uh, the two terms include x is negative 2x with negative kx. You can take out negative x as the common factor, then 2 plus k will be remained here. And plus 4 equals to 0. Now you see that it's possible to get the A coefficient, the B coefficient, and C coefficient. And we can put them back into the discriminant inequality, which is above 0. Now we can say B squared, that means negative 2 minus K, which is B squared, then minus 4 times AC. 4 times A is 1, C is 4 must be greater than 0. We can open this square bracket. Negative 2 squared is positive 4. Then 2 times negative 2 times negative k becomes positive 4k. Negative k squared is positive k squared. Then minus 4 times 1 is 4 times 4 is 16. It's greater than 0. We can rearrange the left side k squared plus 4k, then negative 16 with positive 4 is negative 12, is larger than 0. So we finally arrived at this inequality, and it's a quadratic inequality. Therefore, you can factorize the left side first to find the critical points. You can factorize it into two factors, k by k. Then positive times positive is positive, positive times negative, negative. Factorizing 12, you can say it's 6 times 2. We put 6 here and 2 here. Now you see that we have 6k with negative 2k is positive 4k, which is the middle term. Therefore, the factorization process is correct. Now we can get the critical points. The critical points are k is negative 6. The other is k equals to 2. Then we are going to sketch the curve for this quadratic function in order to get the solution for k or the set values of k. We know that the leading option is positive here. Therefore, the curve is concave up curve. And then we are drawing the x-axis line, which represents the values for k, the critical point, first one is negative 6, and the second critical point, which is the, uh, the root for the curve, is 2. Okay, then we look at the positive value of the function. The function on the left is positive when it goes up here, when k value is less than negative 6. Moving to the left side, we have positive values. And we have positive value for the curve or for the function when k is above 2, moving to the right side towards positive infinity. Therefore, the solution set finally for the k can be achieved easily from the graph. So we can say the set of k values is k equals to the set of k values that are element in the real numbers such that k 
k is less than negative 6 or k is more than positive 2.